you asked for it and now you're getting it. I'm trying YNAB. And actually, I have been using YNAB for the last six weeks. And today I'm going to talk about my first impressions and whether I think we're going to like it or not. And you know me, I have no fear of expressing my personal opinions, good or bad. And there might be a little comparison to every dollar in this video too. It's probably going to happen. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. I am a self-proclaimed expert budgeter. Not even exaggerating. I have been budgeting for 10 years. I started out by using an Excel spreadsheet and then I moved to every dollar and now I'm trying why now? And I got to tell you, I love, love, love every dollar. So why not has the bar set pretty high if I'm going to love it. So I am going to put a link down in the description box for both YNAB and every dollar. If you want to try them, you can both of them have free trial periods. I suggest trying them out, both of them and figuring out which one you like best, or you can watch this video and maybe I'll give you some opinions because you know, I will. So first things first, why did I decide to start YNAB? Mostly because every time I said, I wish every dollar would do dot, dot, dot. I got like 20 comments, YNAB does that. So I figured everybody who uses YNAB loves YNAB and I kind of wanted to try it out just to see what all the hubaloo is about. Hubaloo, is it a word? I don't care. The first question, are we quitting every dollar? Nope. I am using every dollar to make my budget and I'm doing the exact same budget in YNAB because I don't feel confident enough with YNAB to not massively screw up my budget. Cause when you try a new budgeting software, there are mistakes and stuff happens. So yeah, I will probably continue using every dollar for the entire year that I'm using YNAB, which I feel like will make it a lot better to compare and contrast what I like and what I don't like in the two things. And y'all do know there are a lot of things about every dollar that I wish they would change or improve. And then at the end of the year, I'll pick one. And then I will do some sort of like grand unveiling as to which budgeting software I will be using from that point forward. And then I'll probably decide to like try out Mint or something and try that for a year. <laughs> Who knows? I love budgeting. Budgeting is awesome. So I'm all about trying the different budgeting apps. So like I said, I have been using YNAB for about six weeks and I, you, you will notice I haven't paid for it yet. And okay. So point number one for YNAB, my 34 day trial is up and I don't know why 34 days, but 34 days is their free trial period. It was up. They asked if I wanted to pay the fee and I said, Yes, in fact, I do want to pay the fee. However, I'm in the middle of the government shutdown and I am not going to be paying it now. So as soon as that situation is fixed, I will pay for it. And YNAB being an amazing company gave me another month for free. So let's go over my first impressions on the first six weeks on YNAB. Setting up YNAB made me crazy, like insane. There was screaming. There might have been even throwing things at my computer. It was not easy to set up. I didn't understand the concept behind it. I just, I, I thought if every dollar was very easy to set up. So I thought it was just going to be like, plug it in and go link it up to your bank accounts and you'd be good to go. That was not the case. So then I got on YouTube University and I watched Nick True's How to Use YNAB for Beginners. And then I watched a bunch of follow-up videos from my friend Connie Porter. I'll link both of their channels down in the description box. And I'll specifically link the, the video from Nick True that I watched. It was very helpful. Very, very helpful. It, he explained everything very simply and it really made it quite easy once I understood. And then I like pulled myself off the ledge and I said, okay, I'm going to use YNAB. It's okay. There were a few scary moments in there though. Trust me. Similarities between every dollar and YNAB, the amount of time it takes to process your transactions through your bank account is exactly the same. 
So that was good. I had heard YNAB took longer, but it doesn't. It takes, it, if they came through every dollar, they came through YNAB on the same day. Conceptually, they're similar. You make a plan and then you track. The way you do it is different, but conceptually it's the same. Please take these with a grain of salt because like I said, I have only been doing this for six weeks. So I am by no means an expert. The setup, obviously YNAB was a huge pain in, in my hiney and every dollar was very easy. Reconciling in YNAB, you have to toggle between your budget and your reconciling and in every dollar it's on the same page. So you have your transactions on one side and you drag and drop. In YNAB, you actually have to go to a totally different page to reconcile and then your transactions will appear in your budget after you reconcile them. One-time expenses, holy crap YNAB, what is up with you? If I wanna buy something one time, like I need, I don't know, a hairbrush for my daughter, then I have to like create a whole other budget category and if I ever delete it, that transaction then is no longer in a category. It's a whole thing. Whereas in every dollar you can put in like this item only happens this month and then next month it'll carry over but then you just delete it and it doesn't impact anything. The layout, again, I mentioned the budget and the reconciling are on two different pages and in reconciling it kind of is like a rolling reconciling which I think in the end I'm gonna actually find easier for my monthly expenses versus every dollar where the end of the month is the end of the month. In YNAB, it's just kind of a rolling month with reconciling. The biggest conceptual difference between YNAB and every dollar is the planning. In every dollar, you are expected to plan a month in advance. You plan for next month before the month begins. In YNAB, you can only spend what money you have. You cannot plan for, now I understand that there are ways you can plan for things that come later in the month, but if you budget on a two week cycle until you get that paycheck for two weeks, you cannot budget for anything after those two weeks, which is, it's really hard for me to wrap my brain around right now. But I think for us, it's probably not gonna matter because we are one full month ahead, so we, always have our next month's budget ready to go at the beginning of the month and we're fully funded for the whole month. So I don't think that's going to impact me, but it was very hard to transition between the two. Like going from one mode of thinking to another is rough. So what do I love about YNAB? The memo feature. Oh my goodness. So in reconciling in every dollar, it's a whole different window that opens up. But in YNAB, it just, it it's almost like a check registry. And so you can write in the memo feature exactly what it was. So I'm finding that in YNAB, rather than, than like for medical expenses, I have like Molina Medical and I put all of Molina's doctor's appointments in that one budget category. And then in the memo section, I'm writing what doctor it was for. So I think that is going to be something I love because I never really use the memo feature in every dollar because it just wasn't it wasn't convenient i love that you can drag and drop between categories i recently in last month's budget bought a humidifier and initially i put it in online purchases and i was like no this isn't an online purchase expense this is a medical expense and all i did was drag it from the online purchases to the medical category and i was like this is genius you can't do that in every dollar and the last thing i love about YNAB. I haven't actually figured it out, but I know everybody tells me that you can do this, is you can set your budget at the beginning and compare it to the budget at the end and see where you were with that budget. See how much of a difference there was at the beginning of the month versus the end of the month. Because that has been something that I have always wanted to track in every dollar and I haven't been able to. So 
What can you expect from me? Regular updates about YNAB and every dollar, comparing, contrasting, and maybe I'll even do some budgets in YNAB and some budgets in every dollar, or maybe I'll do both. I don't know. I haven't decided, but I'm not good enough to do them yet. <laughs> I need at least three months using YNAB to feel solid about it, I think. I feel like that's like the learning curve for every budgeting software. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.